<laughs> All right, very good. Thank you, Donna. And uh, by now, you know the drill, friends. Starving Garvin goes out every Thursday to find you a place to eat that you may not have tried, but you do have an excuse for not trying out the Peanut Festival, right? No, you don't. And, and why does Garvin look like he's about to smack Fred Flintstone with the turkey leg tonight, too? Let's find out in tonight's edition. Hey, Ben, I'm here. Hey, I'm here at the uh, National Peanut Festival with the corn dog man himself. I'm the third generation and uh, take no credit for it. We just try to continue it on and keep everything going like it was. And uh, what do you think makes you successful as the corn dog man? What makes these corn dogs so delicious? Uh, man, it's just good quality ingredients. Nothing's ever changed over the years, and this is about the 72nd year, so it's been pretty steady. You know? and we at Starvin Garvin give the corn dog man's corn dogs five dogs. Uh, five. But that's not all. We're here at the Dothan Civitan Club funnel cake booth. What goes into making these funnel cakes? How do you make them taste so good? The batter and mixing them up right. Make sure the mixture is the way it's supposed to be. Okay. And a lot of powdered sugar. And a lot of powdered sugar. And we give these funnel cakes five pounds of sugar out of five. Congratulations. How many toys you got? Finally, the turkey legs from Silverado Grill. Cheers. That's a five. I don't know if I have what, but it's five. So, what was your favorite part of the food at the National Peanut Festival? It's this kettle corn. It's what I come for every year. Yeah. How about you, Zach? All right, then. We give the food at the National Peanut Festival Five sacks of kettle corn out of five. All right, lots of fives there. I'm beginning to wonder if Garvin knows any other numbers, or maybe the food at the festival is just that good. It certainly is, friends. As always, if you know of a fine eating establishment, Garvin's always taking suggestions. Give us a call, 793-1818, or email us, news at WDHN.com. And to think we pay him to do that. What a job. Let's